day 11. I don't know why that coincides with warming my hands up. but uh, It's probably cold outside. It's winter, you know. Yeah, it it's is. It's, it's true. So, day 11. What's, what's happening today? Wait, what a... What am I thinking? We gotta do the fact. Oh, duh. That's the. Important. I was about to pass it off to you too early, Sam. That's the important part. Okay, listen. We all know that there are so many of us that like legos, Ooh. Legos, Legos. M- my boys love Legos. Mm-hmm. I love building Legos with my boys. Yes. And did you know? That during Christmas time, there are 28 sets of Legos sold per second. That's crazy. No way. That's crazy. That's a lot. 28 of Lego sets a second. That's a lot. That's I didn't even know there, there were that many Legos. I didn't either. Apparently, everybody likes a Lego. I feel though. like that fact is like. That's crazy. Exaggerated, but, I, you know, I don't That's know. Crazy. Yeah, we found it on the internet. I mean, it's got to be true, right? That, I mean, there's a lot of Legos. There are Legos. Legos are very popular. My boys have asked for Legos, Legos for Christmas. Oh, yeah. I got them all the time as a kid. Anyways, jumping into this Sorry, I like talking story about today. Me too. It's okay. We're talking about King David. He is probably, if I were to guess, the most famous and well-known king in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Um, I would agree with that. Earthly king. Yeah, earthly Jesus king. Right. is the best right. best king, but the earthly king is David. Um, and as we've been talking about, there's another promise that comes to King David himself that's very similar to the one um, that Abraham received. You'll have to read our lesson today to see what, what that is, but it looks a lot like what Abraham was promised. Um, and yeah. so David um, is actually part of the line that um, ultimately leads to Jesus. And David made some big mistakes. Huge. Um, if you read through, he makes some pretty big goofs. Yeah. Um, but like we've been talking about, God didn't give up on him. And he continued his promise. And through him came Jesus. Way down the line, hundreds of years later. But we get to see that God keeps his promises. Um, and... Uh, one of the ways people described King David was a man after God's mm. own heart. And Andrew, I think that connects with our... Yes, our so if you weren't going to say that, I was going to say that. So today, you get to do some origami. And if mm. you don't know what origami is, it's where you take paper and you fold it up to make something cool like a swan. like Or even, you know, paper airplanes. Yes. That's origami. It's origami. So you know how to fold paper. But today, you are going to make a heart out of paper. You're going to fold some paper up. You're going to make a heart. And that's going to help you remember this story about David and the promise from God and that David was a man after God's own heart, even though he screwed up big time because God is faithful. Yeah. So uh, check in your craft guide for that. We have the instructions for how to do that. Go crazy on the heart. Make it have as fun. beautiful as right. you want. And tomorrow's Saturday. So remember, enjoy time with your family. We'll see you on Sunday at church or online and uh See you then. Yep, see ya.